Drew. Caller Drew? Yeah. What's up? You're uh, 18. I'm 18. And, well, here goes. I've been friends with this girl for about two years now. Don't do it. Yeah. Don't do it. <laughs> yeah. It's too late. I, I already was told you. Watch Pretty in Pink over and over again. <laughs> What'd you do? You Watch told her? some kind of wonderful. It doesn't work, dude. You told her you loved her? Yeah, I did. And what'd she say? She was just, like, really freaked out about it. She's like, oh, my God, you know, I just thought we were friends and blah, blah, blah. You know, she was like, you know, she's really surprised by it, I guess. What's, what's your question? Well, what's here, your question? How long have you guys been friends? Well, Two um, years? My question is, like, what should I do now because... It doesn't now, matter. Like, well, she doesn't, she's not into you. Right, but... Uh, but let me let me explain something, Drew. First off, there is a silver lining. You're 18. She's 18. In about 22 years, when she has four kids, a prolapsed vagina, and a couple of bad, <laughs> couple of bad marriages under her belt, she'll be some stretch around. marks. She's put a little weight on. You can have her if you stay in school. If you get that good gig, and they've you know you've just made partner at the firm, you can have her. And actually. You can have her for one night, probably, in a little little vengeance sex. Not, but you have to bide your time. It's, it's, it's 15, 20 years away from now. But in all seriousness, that's like an awful predicament to be in because you're really good friends with somebody. You find yourself developing a crush on them because you get to appreciate them in their private moments. Even no, no, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. He's had nice, this for, but he liked her from the beginning. That's the why he became friends, friends with her. I, I know. And he, he set, and he settled for the friendship, which was the full move to make yeah, in the yeah, first place. Because yeah. anytime you put yourself in the position of, oh, I'll be a friend and sneak him through the back door, right. it does. Not yeah. I'm going to disagree. I'm going to disagree. One of my most landmark love affairs was one I patiently waited out for about a year. But did she know you were into her? Yeah. That's different. That's it. This this guy led her to believe oh. that this was her friend. And mm. also, they're always not... shocked when the guy suddenly comes on with the full romance. They're like, what? I thought we were friends. Listen, if you're 18 to 22 and you have a male friend, he's into you. Right. Yeah. Unless, you're in, unless you're into him. Then he's not in or even and, a and advice for the advice for the guys, if you think a girl is hot right off the bat, even when you're becoming friends with her, relentlessly flirt. Pursue from <laughs> yeah. the beginning. That way there's no misunderstanding right. and no like, I can't believe this comes out of nowhere. Yeah. You're like, I've been telling you this from the get go. Yes, yes. Also, Dax is strapping, you know. Yeah. I mean Do they, you think they, so, Adam? Yeah. These Dax rules. is what are you, six two? I'm six two, but I, you know, I'm not, in the shoulder, I'm not the good looking, guy. easy on the eyes. Narrow Luckily, I've got hit. an award yeah. winning personality. So, <laughs> uh, caller Drew, yeah, yeah gravity I'm, defined. I mean, literally, genitalia. the trophy is on my my credenza. <laughs> uh, Drew, so you told her you your feelings. Uh, she was freaked out, and now it's you, you, she's avoiding you. It's roofie time. Pretty much. <laughs> Sorry. All right, here's the whole thing. You never, you don't really admit this to yourself because you're still under the same BS, you know, flying under the same BS flag you've been flying for uh, two years, which is you. Uh, I thought we were friends. I can't believe you're. No, well, you're I'm still also going to say she her. knew. I'm also going to go on a limb yeah. and say she knew. Yeah, to a degree. Degree. You know, you can feel it. It's in the air. When someone likes you, it's so palpable, and it grosses you out right. if you don't have those feelings. Yeah, I but don't think great, she didn't there's know. There's a great thing that girls do, which is uh, an, an enormous, uh, de they just deceive the hell out of themselves about things like that. Yeah, well, they they choose not to know it. Right, but I'm saying that she's level. not shocked. She I don't, must know yeah, on a certain I don't, level. I don't think it's ever a huge surprise when the guy comes yeah. up. But yeah, well, it, yes, the reason why I told her is because you know I've been telling my friend, you know, well, my best friend, this, you know, that you know I really like her and stuff, and come to find out, like a week ago, he slept with her, so it was kind oh. of you know like a stab in the back yeah. of him. Sure. And this this call should be more about your best friend and, and what an ass he is yeah. than and uh, the all right. Girl. So anyway, <laughs> caller Drew. Yeah. Uh, every one of us has been through this. It's only worked for one of us, and uh, even even he had to put in a year. And in seventeen or eighteen year old years, a year. Whew. Well, it was nine years of my life. It was eleventh grade to twelfth grade. Oh, it felt yeah. like a, a decade had passed. <laughs> right. Yeah. That, that's that's yeah. the point. That was a that was five percent of my life at that yeah. time. Yeah. I could think you'll have many best friends who are girls in your life, and you'll have many girls who you hook up with. It's it's difficult to make the two the same. Yeah, just just move forward and pounce uh, upon first. Well, sight. The, you know what the ironic twist is is that after you've been going out for four or five years, you're all you are is best friends anyway. So she might as well just you know yeah. pump, pump them for a couple of years and they'll pick up right where they left off. I mean, <laughs> yeah, who's kidding? Dax is right. Yeah. You're basically living with your best friend after a while. Tell so her to I tune could be into the show. We'll set her straight. Yeah.
No, that's what happens. The, yeah, uh, the relationship know, becomes like, I'm going to put my penis through this hole and yeah. plywood and watch porno yeah. while you put on a greased up oven mitt and give me a little hand action. The hot and heavy. Thank For you. anyone with the illusion that nah. the hot and heavy is oh, going God. over three years. I mean, nah. yeah. Now nah, you don't do that tongue kissing anymore. It becomes gross. It's like watching your parents. If someone it. tells me that, like, oh, you, you were away for a week, you, you guys must have really went at it. I go, that's disgusting. You're talking about my best friend. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Dax is now starting to freak me out because Drew is a man of exquisite passion. You're gay. Thank you, Drew. <laughs> All right, let's take a little, uh, let's take a little uh, break here. Uh, Seth Green is here tonight. Dax Shepard here tonight from Without a Paddle. Coming out on the 18th. That is one week from this Wednesday.